Man, this is such an, like, an existential video, bro. And this rock really reminds me of Pride Rock, which is from The Lion King. The circle of life. Bird came to freaking life. <laughs> Wait, I mean, you could go buy some merch, but I got something better to tell you. I just launched the Jordan Orm Shorts YouTube channel. I'm making less than a minute content, posting every day, editing content, K-pop content. Click the link in the description or search Jordan Orm Shorts on YouTube and please subscribe for some awesome stuff. What's up, Screen Bean? Welcome back. My name is Jordan Orm. I'm a professional film editor and I've been able to edit some awesome music videos for artists like Justin Bieber, Post Malone, Roddy Rich, Tyga, g Easy, Quavo, Kelani, Sway Lee, Megan Thee Stallion, and so many more. Welcome back to another episode of Music Video Editor Reacts, where I react to music videos from a music video editor perspective. Oh my gosh. Dang, is it... Is this Game of Thrones? What am I watching here? Oh my... Jin, no! There's a bird! That got arrowed. But man, look at this poor dove. It got killed in the battle. Story always comes first in film editing. This video is a very high concept video and has a lot of different elements going into it. It may seem very random, but the main thing that we need to remember is that the video's theme is about the circle of life and the hero's journey. <laughs> So the circle of life is we have birth, life, and death, and the cycle continues. And the hero's journey is a hero accepting their task, going to face an obstacle, fighting the obstacle, and then coming out on top. So this dove represents basically innocent bloodshed in a battle. Jin, it's gonna be okay, man. Every member has their own storyline in this video. And this video seems random because there's a bunch of different eras. There's modern time, historical times. This is a video about humanity and the circle of life and battling things and overcoming them. And like the dove that we saw earlier, this is a scene reminiscent of drummer boys going into battle, innocent kids getting killed. And we can see all the drums over here on the right insinuating that there were a bunch of kids before this kid that might have died innocently in battle. This again representing the death part of the circle of life. In this shot, we have a historical callback to the crucifixion and Jesus, and we also have above him burdens. It looks like we got some arrows, a guitar, things that are weighing him down. And then we have this girl who is supposed to be playing his younger sister, and she is blindfolded. So she is unaware of the burdens that V is carrying. And V here is trying to be strong for her in the face of hardship and take on the burdens of the world. Yes! Now, one thing I'm noticing in the editing is that we're showing a new scene almost every phrase. So it's natural when we have an eight bar phrase or a four bar phrase to show something new to keep the audience interested. Now, this obviously makes a lot more sense because the song is broken up and each member is featured on a different part of the track. They usually have about four or eight bars each. And then we can show their scene and their storyline for that part of the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really quick, Jungkook is bound by some handcuffs, but thorn handcuffs, which remind me of Jesus, the crown of thorns. And he's also in some rags, some like slavery-like clothing, and he's just dealing with the problems of this world. And then we have RM, who is freaking Noah. He's he's Noah from Noah's Ark. Lions, you'll be with the baby antelopes. Uh, crocodiles, you're with the water-crossing wildebeests. So the Ark is clearly already landed, and the animals are getting off. This scene is representing birth in the circle of life. Yes. Yes. 
Bro, did they just like haul animals in? No, actually the animals are completely all VFX, which is really interesting. If we look at the behind the scenes video, we can see that Arm's just rapping by himself and all of the animals are actually VFX. And if you look at this, look at the light. Like they simulated it so well and it just looks beautiful. Jin, it's okay. I know you're caring for your dead bird, bro. It's gonna be okay. Moment of silence for the dub, everyone. Moment of silence. Yeah. Come on, man. We gotta pray for this bird. Oh, R.I.P., man. Did the, did the cage just wiggle, bro? The cage just wiggled. Bro, Jim is out here just laying hands. He's like, bro, Father God, I pray for the bird. I pray for all the kids' friends that died. And look what happened. Bird came to freaking life. Yes. Run, Jan Coop, run. Bro, everybody's praying. Everybody's out here just... And Lord, I pray that this music video would reach uh, over 200 million views and that we will get a number one album. We'll win some more Grammys. Uh, Father Lord, thank you. Amen. Woo! Oh, he's tired. He's been running. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh! We have Jungkook. He actually died. We just saw him pass out and die because he freaking ran too hard. So, y'all, if somebody's trying to get you to run, just tell them, man, Jungkook died from running. So, pff, I don't need to do that, man. I'm going to go eat some potato chips. And here we got J-Hope's verse. And this is freaking all about contrast crates, focus, y'all. And we have these trees. These are actually VFX trees. And they remind me of the thorns of our past. Now, you know, Jungkook has died. He's just chilling in the background. But J-Hope's like, man, we're not going to do that. We're not going to look back. We're going to look forward. And we can take this pain. And we can learn from it. And we can grow. Yeah. Bring the pain. Yeah. Bro, this verse is hard. Go out, J-Hope. Uh, yeah. Tell him. Tell him. Yeah. We have earth, fire, water, air. Long ago, the four nations... And the editing here is great because we're just showing all different coverage of what we have. I love this wide-angle lens. We have longer lenses. Let's play it. I don't give a uh, I don't give an uh, I don't give an uh, yeah! Come on, sugar! Watch the cutting cadence right here. The phrase is ba da 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 ba ba da 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 ba ba da 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 ba And the editor here is genius and likes to cut to that phrase, so let's watch that again. Yes! And we don't want to do it over and over and over, so we only do it like two or three times, cut to that cadence, and then switch it up, do something else. And that's what creates that interesting editing pace. Yes, sugar! Wow. That's good editing, man. The lyric says, Carried myself into this beautiful prison, and right when we hear that lyric, what shot do we show? We reveal that V is inside a maze runner-like wall with his sister. Man, y'all about to break out. Get into the maze, man. Two bros chilling in the hot tub, five feet apart cause they're not gay. And this is just a part of the song that's like, hey, we can do it. Even though life is hard, we can do it. We can come through our challenges. We can overtake whatever obstacles in our way. Wow. 
So it looks like Jungkook is alive. He's back. And that is, again, the circle of life. Things die and things come back to life. What, now we're earlier in the video, we were showing a lot of death imagery. We are now showing things coming back to life and the circle of life continuing. Dang, that water sound is so loud. <laughs> Okay, we got all humanity, man. We're ready to face the maze. We're ready to escape the wall. Wow. There it is. That's the whole cycle of life, y'all. Literally earlier in the video, we saw the dove dead. Dead, innocent blood killed from a battle. And then we saw Jin take care of it. He came back to life and now Jin is releasing it out into the world into the, the hardships that it's going to experience again and we'll see what happens you know that's the circle of life oh so it's like a baptism he's free now oh frick Hey, 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 oh, wow. This is a wide angle lens right here. It feels like you're physically close to the camera. And this is a long lens where it feels like the camera's really far away, but still we're getting a similar framing. Intercutting wide angle lenses and long lenses is a great editorial technique because you'll get that varying focal length. The shots will feel new and feel fresh. Hey, yeah, oh, kill him. Yes! Oh shoot! So this is the hero's journey part. This is when the hero faces the antagonist and fights the battle. And so what they're fighting is an internal battle, a battle against their shadow, their darker self. And this is Shadow Jungkook. He's holding that horn. He's inciting all this darkness, this battle. And this dance battle that we're seeing simulates a real battle between Jungkook and his shadow inside of himself. Hey! Yes! Get it! Come on! Hey, uh, bro, I'm sweating. This is crazy. Fight the battle, yo. Ooh, those zooms? That was nice. I just got blown up by Jungkook Shadow. And then we have death, we just got blown up, and now there's life, there's a rebirth. The circle of freaking life. Man, this is such an, like, an existential video, bro. This is crazy stuff. And this rock really reminds me of Pride Rock, which is from The Lion King, which is basically the circle of life. Stop it. Get some help. That's what the video is about. And they decided to put that symbol in the end just to physically show, hey, we're climbing a mountain and we're overcoming and also to remind us of The Lion King and the circle of life. This is a great story, man. I love this video. This is awesome super fun to just dissect and think about guys omg 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 look good things await you i just got my glasses from warby parker and i'm so excited i did the try on program <sighs> let's freaking go we all know my eyes and under eye bags are very red and blue mr parker here was like hey jordan maybe you should get some blue light glasses you stare at a screen for like 15 hours a day editing <laughs> and i was like you know what mr parker you're right you're right that is a good investment and so here we have our try on program let's open up the box what we do is you do like a quiz online and i mean who does who doesn't love quizzes i love doing the disney princess quizzes <gasps> ah! 
Yeah, so I love doing Disney princess quizzes on BuzzFeed, you know the BuzzFeed quizzes. It's basically like that, but like for glasses, like what glasses should you wear? I got a bunch of recommendations, and here are my five pairs that I can try on for free at home. How crazy is that? It's free, it's literally free. I need you guys to help me decide which blue light glasses I should get. Comment below, let me know what we should go with. Number one, Butler. Let's take a look at her. Ooh, these are fire. I like them. They got something going. I also really wanted to try out some clear frames because I know Warby Parker is known for their clear frames. So here we got Felix. Oh, I like these. Oh, what do you think? Let me know what you think. Now, unfortunately for my international folks, the try on free program is not available, but the $95 for prescription glasses, that is available. That's a crazy deal. So go freaking get that. And also I just realized recently that Warby Parker also does contacts and eye exams in addition to sunglasses and glasses, which is crazy because I wear contacts all the time. That's what I wear normally. I might have to cop some of those because that'll be, that'll be perfect with my new blue light glasses. This is Mullins with a little acorn torch. Ortiz. Oh. Oh, Professor Jordan's up in here. Hey class, my name is Professor Orm. Whoosh, this is my yardstick. Wow, these are cool. They make me, I feel like they make me look very smart. I look very educated in, in these glasses. They're very cool. This is Haskell, crystal clear. I'm very excited to try these out. Yo. I am digging these. The fact that these glasses, like they're only $95 with a prescription. Like that is a freaking steal. And last but not least, I got Topper, some sunnies. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to channel my inner California and just be like, what's up y'all? <laughs> Thank you so much, Warby Parker, for sponsoring this episode. I am so lucky to work with you. Love your products. These glasses are amazing. I'm I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I just can't stop trying them on. It's so good. It's so good. I love the home try-on system. It's amazing. And if you want to get home try-on for yourself, five pairs of glasses, be sure to hit the link in the description or go to the URL, warbyparker.com slash Jordan Orm. Oh, bro, he's running all the way to the top. All the way to the top. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for a little bit of... Be sure to hit the link in the description and check out my shorts channel, Jordan Orm Shorts. You'll get a new video every day. And please check out some of my other reactions. I react to August D. I'm so sorry for you. I react to August D. De Chita. I react to a ton of other BTS videos. It's a lot of fun. Please remember to subscribe, leave a thumbs up. I love you. Jesus loves you. See you guys in the next video. Bye.